listen, I'm here tonight because my family is my reason. Every single day, my family is my reason. Our families are our reason. Our families are our power. Our families remind us of what we can do when we set our sights on making change. I say that because there isn't a single LGBTQ family that happened without roadblocks, without a fight. There isn't a single LGBTQ plus family that was formed without serious intention and planning and perseverance. And there isn't a single LGBTQ family that doesn't worry about something bad happening to them just because they are who they are. My wife and I fought for our family like so many of us fight for our families. And because of that, I have the gift of getting to experience life with my son. This person who is my entire heart and makes me proud every single day. As a queer person, I can assure you the gratitude we feel for having this gift of family is never, ever taken for granted. And in fact, my son is my plus one tonight. He's over there. <laughs> there he is. <clears throat> and I'm grateful for our fight every single day of my life. Isn't he cute? Also, wasn't I young? Like he stole my youth? And I also blame my booty on him. All right. Family equality shows up to fight. Yeah. Family equality shows up to fight hateful laws and shows up to counsel teachers and school systems. And we show up to help employers understand their LGBTQ workforces. And we show up in community and with programming partners all over the country. And now we are asking you to show up in solidarity with us. Now, this may surprise you, but I often find myself reminding my friends, my straight, al I have straight friends. <laughs> I do. There's, there's more of them to choose from. <laughs> but the auditions are serious. It's true, it's true. Um, I find myself reminding my neighbors, those allies, that our families, our families, our queer families, are not valued and respected the way all families should be. And you just heard a story from Stacy that proves that. And the countless stories we hear every day, every day cannot be ignored. Did you know, did you know, and this is the reason I'm on this board. Did you know that Family Equality has a tiny policy team of just four people? And that tiny policy team sued the state of Mississippi to eliminate the last state ban on LGBTQ adoption, and they won. They won. Four people. Listen, the parties are fun, but the policy, the change, is why we're here. That's why we're here tonight. Did you know that this tiny organization worked to successfully defeat 91% of the anti-LGBTQ plus bills introduced over the last few years? Did you know that we've also joined efforts with our movement partners to introduce over 700 pro-LGBTQ bills this year? Pro-LGBTQ. Did you know that Nikhil, a member of Family Equality's tiny policy, one member of our policy team was on the ground with our movement partners in Missouri fighting what was said to be the absolute worst don't say gay or trans bill? Did you know that? We are so proud that we were able to stop that bill from moving forward. Don't say gay or trans. 
we're in LA. How can you not say gay with LA? But family equality goes even further. As more LGBTQ plus people want to bring children into their lives, family equality is there for them. Providing access to pro-LGBTQ plus clinics and attorneys and doctors and adoption and foster care agencies and so much more. And we want to give even more support by providing resources to help protect their legal rights. Family equality has deliberately and powerfully and quietly been making the world better for all of our families, all of them. This moment in history is challenging us to amplify ourselves and our values. This moment in time is demanding that we center ourselves in our power and we use it for good. Everyone here tonight has the power to help propel the progress family equality has made even further. To do that, to combat the disempowerment we all feel when faced with so many obstacles in the world, you must act. Every single one of you must act, and not just tonight. When you leave here, your personal power is not a given. You have to tap into it. You have to take the steps toward the change that you want to see. Okay, listen, I need to tell you something. I know we've just met. <laughs> but I am a hardcore fan of The Real Housewives. <laughs> you are too, right? I can see it on your face, 100%. And you all got to meet Heather Dubrow, an honorary chair for tonight's event. And, and I, I wanted to get up in front of you and tell you that as a fan of The Real Housewives, I mean, I have a job and um, I, you know, I, I have to go to work so I don't like binge. But I am devoted to Orange County since Heather came back because I, I know there's a big woman on the stage who really likes Heather a lot. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Here's the deal. Three out of four of her children identify as LGBTQ. And she and her husband, their acceptance and unwavering love for them on their national platform has literally brought our team to tears. <laughs> They don't make a show of it. They don't use the show to exploit them, but because watching them parent is a gift to so many of us in this community, we have to hold that up as an example of what we expect from our communities. They are so open and so loving and so comfortable letting those kids be exactly who they are fully and freely. Seriously. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can choose tonight to join the Dubros. You can choose tonight to join them as part of our movement, as part of this movement, and it's so important. We shouldn't be living in this time. It is 2023. We are all good and deserving of love simply because we were born. You can use your power to ensure that the children who need us the most will have the lives they deserve. We are not hopeless, we are hopeful. Because everyone in this room tonight has the power to help families and kids around the country. Each of us can make a meaningful contribution and together we can get to the $200,000 we want to raise in this room tonight. I need you to remember, big lesbian, on the microphone, and you're all very little. <laughs> I come from the Midwest. We eat corn. I can take you. <laughs> Seriously. So here is my question for you. Can you help us do more of this good work? Will you stand in solidarity with all of the families who need our help? Can we count on you to use your power for good? Can we? 
We are looking for 100% participation and the lights come up to make it real awkward. I want to tell you this, I'm from the Midwest, we don't like asking for money, right? We don't like asking for anything. We want you to leave us alone, we live in the snow. <laughs> Nobody likes doing this, but until everybody is included, until we have equality for everybody, I'm going to do this, we're going to do this. So whether you give $100,000 or $100, it matters. You are contributing to a better world to making change. You're contributing to love and to family and children living the lives they deserve. deserve. I'm not afraid to imagine a better world, a better future for our families. Despite the hate we see, I also see more joy and more love. I see friendship and I see community and chosen family. I see hope. In this room tonight, I see hope and love and joy, and I see my son's face, and I know why I do this. Look around you. Look around you. See your friends and your neighbors. Oh, it's getting good. In spite of what's happening in the world, we can do this. We can do this. So here's, here's what we're going to do. Do you even know what's possible? If you donate tonight, do you even know what's possible? If we raise, if you donate $100,000, we lay the foundation for Family Equality's new digital crisis hub. We need digital technology to reach the families who cannot be reached. Your phone is your home. It's your sense of place, even in the most impoverished communities. That's what we need to do. We want to make Path to Family Equality designed for LGBTQ plus families fleeing their home states. $50,000. If you donate 50, okay, look it, look it, there's cards on your table. There's cards on your table. Do you see the cards on your tables? You can use those. You can also use your telephones, your mobile devices that you've had a rough time staying away from tonight. You can use those. We're going to tell you more. $50,000 will help our policy team, that tiny policy team. We need more attorneys on our policy team, and we need you to help us get them. With help, you're going to help our policy team fight the unprecedented number of harmful bills throughout the states. $25,000 supports our new Family Equity and Justice Data Gathering Program, focusing on understanding and addressing the unique needs of BIPOC and under-resourced LGBTQ plus families. $10,000, are you ready for this? Will empower the Every Child Deserves a Family campaign to continue its fight for LGBTQ plus youth and families. And have you seen some of our family stories? Did you watch some of the videos tonight? If you go on our website, there's tons of videos. Tons of videos telling stories of our families. We have devoted tremendous effort over the last few years to tell stories that get buried by the sensationalism in the news that tell the wrong stories about our community. But if you go on our website, you'll see the stories of joy and love and hope. And $5,000, if you, if you commit $5,000 tonight, you will help us change hearts and minds by adding to the Rick Sweezy Memorial Fund Video Storytelling Library to tell more of our stories. And everybody needs safe space. $3,000 helps us sustain safe spaces, safe peer-led spaces vital, life-affirming, supporting spaces for LGBTQ plus parents and parents-to-be. Okay, I'm almost done. You're like, get the big girl off the stage. <clears throat> does it hurt in Los Angeles? Does it hurt your eyes? Um, okay. <laughs> with $1,200, listen to me, that's just $100 a month. Do we have the slide with the text information on it? Let's see that. I want to see that. Okay. I'm telling you what it is. Text equality to 52886. We do Apple Pay and Venmo and PayPal. You've heard of those, yes? Excellent. $1,200, just $100 a month. You can become a sustaining donor. We will never forget you. I could show up at your door and give you a hug. That could happen. That could happen. $100 a month offsets the cost of our LGBTQ plus competency training program, Open Door, for reproductive and fertility specialists and LGBTQ plus birth workers. Listen to me when I tell you, this is your chance. I'm going to stand here. It's going to get awkward. We're going to get real quiet. This is what they told me to do. Listen. I just do what I'm told. I'm a pawn in this game. Large lesbian pawn. Here we go. You ready? 
Okay, okay. All right, we have the opportunity tonight to ensure that LGBTQ plus families are free and fully part of the future that we want. The future that we want. The future we are building together. Do I have to be quiet anymore? Have you, have you texted? <laughs> are you texting? Have you te did you text? Who else text? Raise your hands if you texted. We're not letting you out if you did not text. Did you text? You all texted? Anybody who texted gets a hug or not, whichever is more appealing. You tell me, which would you rather? You want a hug from me or not? You want hugs? Excellent! Dear God, my Irish sensibilities are having a seizure right now. Um, <clears throat> we owe it to our children. If that better world is what we want, we have to create it. We have to do something about it. And that starts right here, right now, tonight, in this room. I thank you very much for being here.